Hey, Tony, um, we've just heard from a couple of guys about how well this group has been able to mesh and, and you know, get through the adversity of just a, a tough COVID year. Um, you came in midway through the season. What did you notice about this group and how, how they were able to mesh so well? Well, first of all, first day I walked into this with this team and organization, it's just, it's been first class, been treated really well. It's just from day one, I just knew it was a, a, great, a great overall organization, and, but team-wise, uh, just through the experiences and playing and, you know, the, the losses sometimes and the wins too, um, just the experiences uh, being together, just a, a great overall team and everyone is, is just, everything's positive. Nick Gallo with Thunder Broadcasting. Hey, Tony, you got maybe more or different types of opportunities on the floor since coming to the Thunder. How do you think that you, um, were able to make the most of those, and, and what parts of your game do you feel like you were kind of able to to flex a little bit? Uh, getting an opportunity to, to, to play was is, is always good. Um, I feel like um, some things that I got a chance to show a little bit is just a little bit of my ball handling and passing ability, uh, just a little bit more. Um, just through the system here, just catching the ball kind of the top of key elbow, making a decision with the ball, handoff, center screen, things like that. So um, it felt good, I like just having the ball in my hands and making a decision with it. Yeah. So, so it's been good. Joe Masato with the Oklahoman. Yeah, Tony, you're set to be a restricted free agent. Just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, this off season and, um, you know, potentially being back with the Thunder if that's an option? Yeah, I, uh, this off season, I, I, like I said, I love it here in OKC with the Thunder, um, but uh, I don't I don't know what the, the next move will be for me. Um, so, yeah. And just um, a couple of follow-ups. Mike Muscala and Al Horford didn't finish the year as far as playing, but they were both around. What, what did you sort of learn from them in, in your brief time here? Uh, yeah, so when I knew I was going to be traded here, I, uh, the first thing I thought was, uh, 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 the first person I thought of was Al um, because he was in Philly last year, and so many guys talked about how good a, of a vet he was and of a player. So uh, it, was, it was good getting the opportunity to, uh, that very first game I played, I just asked him, like, hey, what do you see out there? What can I do better? Just always, you know, trying to pick the brain and, you know, improve. And so, especially with Mike as well, getting a chance to talk and chop it up with him um, after practice and stuff, shooting with him, things like that. It's just it's great having it's great having vets around just so you can pick their brain and get some information and learn to try to improve and develop. And then you played for, you know, obviously a veteran coach in Doc in, in Philly, then came here, first year coach in Mark. What, how, just how do you assess the job that, that Mark did, or, or what was it like playing for him um, since being traded? Since being traded, playing for Mark has been, it's been great. Um, first day meeting with him, he, he, it was great, just the, the chemistry of meeting him and talking to him and, and, and just him being a coach overall is, is and I know it's his first year being head coach, and we ch we chatted it up a lot. We chatted it up as soon as I got here, and uh, it was it was actually just surprising that, like when we chopped it up, he knew a lot about me. he knew a lot about me as a player. And it's just it's just it brings confidence in me, you know. So it's just it was positive. It was good. Back to Nick Gallo. Yeah, Tony, do you have specific plans kind of already for yourself this off season? Whether you know, like you're going home, or what you're what you're going to do, uh, just in terms of developing your game and, and continuing to work. Um, any specific things that you're going to try to do uh, with yourself? Uh, yeah, so I'll be going. I'll be working out in Florida, um, and uh, just just taking this off season and try to improve on different things and come back as a better player. So that's my goal. Back to Joe Masato. Yeah, Tony, Mark was talking about how difficult the year was as far as, you know, not only the condensed schedule, but all the testing and getting up early and, and changing your routines. What were the, sort of the biggest challenges of doing that and how hard was it to, to constantly stay on top of those things? 
I think the the thing that stuck out for me was and was shocking for me was us testing and then like waiting in the car for, especially when I was in Philly, waiting in the car for like 45 minutes to be honest, really to an hour at times when I was in Philly. But uh, that was shocking to me and it was unusual. But you know, the more we do things, you know, it becomes normal. But, uh, the more and more we did it, it's just like you don't even think about it anymore. So it was the normal. So, uh, but yeah, that was something that was very different. We're, Mark was saying how, you know, sometimes like food would be brought out to you guys as you were waiting. Just like, what did you sort of do to to pass that time? And it's like, I don't know, paint the picture for me. Is like everyone like outside the facility, like waiting to go in or what What does that sort of look like? I mean, the food, hey, the food being brought to us, that wasn't the, uh, I wouldn't say that was a negative. <laughs> but uh, just like overall, I think that I, overall, I think that you know this is the, this was a pandemic. Like this is something unusual for all of us. But like we we still have a job to do, and, and, and um, I just feel like um, yeah, that was the most difficult part was just the t um, the testing and waiting in the car. Thanks. Yes, sir.